all right what's going on everybody so this is the dark souls 3 first boss fight uh which is a quick easy and simple one uh, which is a little bit strange because, yeah, even though in some games, you know, the first boss they give you might be a little practice boss, might be a little sample of of things to come. The Dark Souls, uh, you know, the Soul series is not one to give you a practice boss, you know, for you to warm up on. You know, usually the, the first boss is still, you know, pretty challenging, but this one, uh, not very challenging at all. High, you know, definitely um, some high damaging attacks, but, you know, really easy to inflict damage upon also so um yeah i'm a little bit late to uh getting to play dark souls 3 i had the game since uh you know since since tuesday pre pre-ordered it on pc uh, i was just busy with some other things um and good goodness this game looks amazing in 4k like i'm able to play this game in 4k 60 frames per second max settings i'm so glad they added the you know sli sli profile to the game um, which many developers don't do. Sometimes they don't add SLI support at all, and sometimes you have to wait till after launch. This was there uh, from the very beginning, so I definitely appreciate that. The game looks amazing in 4K. I think a tear, I'm not, I'm not joking, like a tear came to my eye when I put this in 4K for the first time. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Obviously, I'll be, I'll be rendering in 1080p because, you know, rendering in 4K and uploading that to YouTube not really a viable thing and not really all doesn't really make all that much sense when um, you know, pe most people don't even have 4K monitors yet. Uh and also, I know a lot of people wanted me to live stream me playing Dark Souls 3, but uh, I decided not to because honestly, you know, sometimes when you do this YouTube thing, uh, you know when everything you do has to be shared is expected to be shared and social and interactive Sometimes you just want to step away from that and just uh, you know make gaming that solo uh, Independent thing that you enjoy on your time, you know without that interactiveness sometimes sometimes when you do this YouTube thing and you know you just get so uh, You get really jaded and fatigued when you have to share every you know get little gameplay you do and you don't just take a step back and just enjoy that you know your your personal you know relaxing time and just play games so that, you know that's what i want to do with with this uh, i'm still going to upload the boss fights of course but you know like i said as far as me just playing through the game i'm not going to live stream or do a bg plays for that of course none of that just upload uh the boss fights and one thing i definitely will say is uh that i'm very fortunate that i did play Dark Souls 2 and you know I became very used to and acclimated to Dark Souls 2 because it's it's very it's much easier to go from a game like Dark Souls uh, to a game like Bloodborne because Bloodborne is a simplified version of the you know Soul series it is not necessarily in difficulty but some of the nuances the attributes uh, some of I, I would say some of the RPG elements you know they got rid of a little bit of those in Bloodborne so it's a simplified version um, you know, I've like I've seen some people that never played the Souls game play Bloodborne and then play Dark Souls and you know they they weren't really very very used to the gameplay. But fortunately fortunately like I said I played Dark Souls 2. Got up to like the fifteenth boss but my game got erased, but you know, I was still uh, became very uh, familiar with the game so I know how Dark Souls 3 was gonna play uh, verse how Bloodborne was so I know it wasn't gonna be exactly like Bloodborne so that's why I'm you know pretty used to it and you know I know what I'm in for so yeah that was the Lundix Gundare boss and my future boss fights will actually be my live reaction so yeah I'm out of here y'all peace